Um, I want I'm sorry, my phone, y'all. I have got to get a digital camcorder. But anyway, um, want to do a quick update. Today is Monday, my official way day, and my official update day. So um, my fat this week are two pounds lost. So I'm at 219. Um, feel pretty good about that. Um, I did notice um, that my weight started um, decreasing once I started walking, once I started getting active. I did not have a chance to do anything from Monday to Thursday. Um, and I know I wasn't losing weight because I stepped on the scale every day. <laughs> because I'm trying to understand my, my pattern, you know. My husband acts like he doesn't understand what I'm doing, but I know what I'm doing. I'm trying to understand how my body's working now compared to how I eat, how I drink, and how I exercise. How does my the weight come off if I do all three correctly? How does um, it stay stagnant if I don't do something? So I'm trying to understand the pattern in my, you know, my, my body pattern. So I did notice that once I started walking, which was Friday, and I did a whole lot of walking Saturday, and I did some Sunday. So for those three days, I lost a total of two pounds uh, when I stepped on the scale this morning. Um, that's awesome. I feel like if I had walked all week long, which I'm going to do this week, um, I'll see even a bigger change. I'm going to implement um, all of my protein this week and my water because I'm not doing all three consistently. I'm not. Let's be real about it. Um, Friday I went and took my lab, so this Friday I'll know for sure what if I'm not doing something right because it's going to show. Um, I go see my surgeon this Friday for my, I guess, three-month update. Um, so we'll see. I feel good. But, you know, I need to know what's going on on the inside. Um, one thing I'm excited about with the two-pound weight loss is it brought me down in my, my BMI. My BMI is now 38.8, which means I'm no longer morbidly obese. I love it, y'all. I mean, that's why I chose the title, You Shall Live or Not Die. Um, my walk of faith... And the fact that this surgery is 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 helping me do what I need to do to prolong my life, um, it's it's beyond words for me. Um, on a different note, um, I think I told you guys the transition my family has been in uh, with our um, church. Um, well, deciding that. We were going to no longer be at the church we were um, after 15 years. Um, and I can honestly say this Sunday I finally, finally kind of felt at peace about um, where to move forward to, and we're just going to continue to pray about it and um, seek God's guidance because this is not, you know, it, a fly by night kind of situation. We really want to um, follow God's um, leading on this. So, yeah, I thought I'd throw that in for measure's sake. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so I got this paper, but I'm still rambling. Um, so, yeah, I took my labs, and then I have the appointment this Friday with uh, my doctor. Um, now, I want to go back to a lot of my exercise that I did on Saturday. Um, I started out by getting up and walking, I mean, just walking, walking, I mean, working out in the house, meaning cleaning up, getting everything straightened up and all that kind of stuff. I sat down and rested about 10 minutes, and then I put on my walking shoes and everything, and I went for my morning walk, which is a walk around my block. Um, my block is about a mile and a half. So, you know, it's a country block. Um, so I think I did real good. Um, came home, uh, 
chilled out for a little while. Then my, my husband came back home from a haircut, and then we decided to go out and do something. Um, the kids got real good grades on their report cards. We wanted to reward them. I mean, my seven-year-old got all A's. Let me check my time. Okay. Um, she got straight A's. My um, oldest daughter, who had some struggles last year with her attitude and with her grades, is doing exceptionally well this year. She's she's in extracurricular activities. She's she has a she was on the A B honor roll, and um, you know she's working on the attitude. My son, he's doing pretty well. Um, uh, he graduates this year, so it's a big year. Wow, he graduates this year. And that's in about a little over six months. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, it hits me every now and then that I'm getting old. Um, but anyway, um, so we had a reward um, day. And so we gave them the option to choose what they wanted to do, but we already knew what we were going to do. <laughs> um, so uh, we went to putt-putt, and we decided to get two, do two events or whatever, and so we chose the golf and we chose laser tag. So we did laser tag first. I had never done it before, of course, because, you know, what overweight person is going to be running around ducking and dodging and rolling and all kind of crazy stuff, you know, you just, you don't do that. You either stay home and say, I don't feel like going, you know, make up an excuse, send the family on to have fun, and you just don't, pretend you don't care. Um, but I uh, went and had a ball. I mean, I can't even describe how much fun I had at this place. Now, um, my my daughter's friend came, and so she went with us. So it was uh, six of us and, and, a, and two other people that were going to, you know, be going in with us. So we all uh, split up in a four-person team, and the two people that wasn't part of, you know, my, my family or whatever, um, was on the other side. So this one girl, she was like targeting me. I mean, <laughs> when I realized that that chick was coming after me, I mean, I went in competitive mode, y'all. I was, <laughs> I was, you know, you know how you see on um, the um, detective shows and stuff. How you know you have your back against the wall with your gun in the air and you. You know, you're doing all these stunt moves, and I mean, I was having so much fun. My daughter was dropping and rolling and <laughs> coming back up with her gun and all kind of stuff. We just had a lot of fun, and so we're going to do this every month. We're going to have a fun day, and we're going to do something uh, active. And that was the deal. Um, we're going to go somewhere because at first they wanted to go just to the mall. We was like, no. They talked about skating rink, but my daughter didn't want to go during the daytime with the parents, so whatever. Well, I guess we're not going to skate rink. About to run out of time. Um, but we had a lot of fun. Anyway, to wrap up, I want to talk about this week's dinner. This week's dinner, I started out yesterday and did a um, chicken, chicken and dumpling in the crock pot. I just bought another crock pot, y'all. So I have my a little dipper, and I have like a four quart. So I'm gonna see if I can get a bigger, maybe like an eight quart this week. These are my two crock crock pots. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, about to run out of time. But that's my little dipper, and that's my 